Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this multiple choice question. We are given that t is equal to 2 raised to the power of negative x. And we are asked to express 2 raised to the power of x plus 1 in terms of t. And we are given four options here. Alright, I am going to present you two methods. But the second method is said to be the simplest. Let me start by rewriting this expression. We have 2 raised to the power of x plus 1, and this is what we want to express. You know from one of the laws of indices, this can be written as 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1, which turns out to be 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x. Alright, what I will be doing here is that I want to make x the subject in this equation, then substitute it back here to get our term in terms of t. So we have t equal to 2 raised to the power of negative x, that is our equation. And from definition of logarithm, remember if you have log b base a equal to x, this a which is our base raised to the power of x will be equal to b. So I can apply this in this equation. So from here, you can clearly see that log t base 2 is equal to negative x. Remember, I want to make x the subject. So I can divide both sides by negative 1. So x will be equal to negative log t base 2. And from one of the laws of logarithm, this negative 1 can serve as a power of t x is equal to log of t raised to the power of negative 1 base 2. And t raised to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 divided by t. Finally, x is equal to log 1 divided by t base 2. So this is what we are going to substitute in this expiration. 2 raised to the power of x plus 1, which we want to express, is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x. But x is the same thing as log of 1 over t base 2. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of log of 1 over t base 2. And from one of the laws of logarithm, this is exactly equal to 1 divided by t because this 2 here as a base will cancel log base 2. So finally, this is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 divided by t, which is equal to 2 divided by t. And this is our answer, 2 divided by t. And you can see it here as option A. So now let me apply the second method. First of all, let me simplify this from one of the laws of indices. 2 raised to the power of x plus 1. This is the same thing as 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x. So what I will be doing here, I want to express 2 raised to the power of x in terms of t from our main equation. And our main equation, remember, is t equal to 2 raised to the power of negative x. t equal to 2 raised to the power of negative x. Remember that this t has a power of 1 naturally. So if we want to get rid of this negative sign, we can multiply both powers by negative 1. And this implies that t raised to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of x. And remember that t raised to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 divided by t. Therefore, 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 1 divided by t. And I can directly substitute this in this expression. 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x. And hence, 2 raised to the power of x plus 1, which we want to express, is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of x, which is 1 divided by t. And finally, this is equal to 2 divided by t as our final answer. And this is all I have for you today. 
Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.